What should be a good lightweight clash between Raging Al Iaquinta and Max Holloway. Well, his 13-fight winning streak is no more, but Max Holloway still makes this walk here tonight as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world when it comes to pace, pressure, preparation, cardio. Few guys are going to be able to match what this Hawaiian brings to the team. And he can do it all. He's got great ability to get back up once he's taken down. He has takedown ability, but it's the range and the distance management that makes Max Holloway such a problem for everyone at 145 pounds. He doesn't seem as though he's throwing 100% effort with every strike. He's just touching you. Right. But the accumulation of damage that Max Holloway will put on you will make guys just fold in front of him, as we saw with Ortega and in both Jose Aldo fights. He's a big featherweight. We have seen him compete at 155 pounds. He has said he wants to move up to welterweight uh, before his UFC and career is he set and done. Yeah, he wants a shot at the heavyweight champ. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> So here's the lightweight contender, raging ally Aquinta. A lot of respect thrown his way, and rightfully so, after taking on Khabib Nurmagomedov on about 24 hours' notice. Still a lot of people believe that Iaquinta has yet to arrive at his fighting prime. He has not reached his true potential, because now he's just starting to get active, like most fighters are. Now he's just starting to be in the octagon as often as you would like to see him in the octagon. You know he has a complete skill set for mixed martial arts. Phenomenal boxer, really good kicks, and very, very tricky with timing and using his takedowns whenever he needs to. Ally Aquinta is a very special talent, and his best is still yet to come. And if you're trying to sell your house on Long Island, how's your Ally Aquinta is a great realtor, too. Man of many talents. <laughs> And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Holloway is 28. Iaquinta is 33. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 14 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Wong Kong, New York, Raging Al Iaquinta! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, perfect head kick there. Lands a big right hand early. That one landed clean. And they are exchanging leather early. Holloway's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice stick with the right hand. Huge block there. Spinning back fist. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting ads. It's like he's hitting focus space, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Iaquinta gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, big left hook there. Single collar tie now. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Then both guys rip Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Oh, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Bliss. So there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.